Hi everyone, over on Booktube, it's Andrea here. Welcome to my channel. It's Friday the 9th of December 2016. I cannot believe we're almost at the end of the year. And it's and as I said, it's Friday, so that means Friday reads. So, what am I gonna be reading over the weekend? Well, I've got a bit of a mixed bag, but none of it's actually fiction. What I thought I'd do is read a couple of books that I've been given or loaned or start them anyway and try and finish off some books that I've had on the go for a while so first of all and this is I mean this isn't just going to be for the weekend this is going to probably be into most of next week as well so the first book I'm going to try and get finished over the weekend and next week is Undying a Love Story by Michael, Michelle Faber this is his book of poetry I started this when it first came out absolutely months ago um with me I dip into poetry here and there but I really want to finish this it's a beautiful book the poetry is beautiful um, and I, I've got another three poetry books on the go so I thought if I can try and get this one finished then at least that's something. Another book that I have been reading for months and months and months and I don't know why it's taken me so long because as soon as I pick up and start reading it I really enjoy it and I'm, I want to know more is uh, Thomas Hardy The Time Torn Man by Claire Tomlin. This is one of my friend's books that I've been I've had for long well over two years so I really must crack on with it I, I'm not far into it but I did read a bit last night and I'm like why haven't I just sat down and read this it's really interesting it's fascinating I love Thomas Hardy so I want to try and finish this over the course of the next week and as you can see it's quite a chunk it's quite a chunky chunky book but I want to get on with it now the other two books that I'm going to try and get on with this weekend and into next week is um Sherlock, uh, The Fact and Fiction About Behind the World's Greatest Detective by Martin Fido. As you can see, I've started this one. This was one of the books that was sent to me by the lovely Carol over at Carlton Books. It is fascinating. There's actually a biography of Sherlock Holmes in it as if he was a real person. I've read, I've read a few pages. It's really fascinating. It's not a huge book, so I'm hoping that it won't take me too long to crack on and finish. So I want to try and do that one this weekend and into next week. And the last book I'm going to show you is a book that was sent to me, well, it was lent to me by my friend Sue. She's the one that gives me all the thrillers. Um, her mother wants to read this one, which is why it's only on loan. And this book is Mrs. Simpson by Charles Hyam, uh, The Secret Lives of the Duchess of Windsor. Windsor, apparently it's fascinating. I've never read anything on the Duchess of Windsor, so I'm really interested in getting into that one. So I plan on starting that one, possibly... I want to say tomorrow, but tomorrow is going to be a weird day because tomorrow morning I'm working at 6am for six hours because I'm stupid. No, because I like buying books and extra money in my pay packet at the end of the month means extra books can come and sit in my shelves, which we like. So I'm working six hours tomorrow uh, to get some overtime for books and holidays and things like that. And then tomorrow afternoon we'll be going to the station to pick up my younger brother Chris, who finally, finally gets home from... Uh, New Zealand. I say home. His home is actually New Zealand. He lives in New Zealand, but he comes home uh, every year for Christmas. He's home for a month this time and we'll be picking him up tomorrow and then, then me and Paul might be going out for dinner. So tomorrow's pretty much a write-off, I think, for reading, but I will try and get some reading done if I can. So that's why it's more sort of books that I'm going to be reading over the weekend and into next week. So two ones that are brand new to me and two that I've started a while ago. I'm going to use the last three weeks in December to try and get rid of everything that I've got on the go, everything I've been trying to read for a while. There are some other books in the other room that I've started and not finished um, and if I can get through some of these I will be pulling them off and, and going through them and then only when I finish them will I pick up something really new. And I've got lots of books to read. So that's my Friday reads. Um, yes, yeah, some bookish ramblings. Um, December's going to be a quiet month on purchases. I have been given a couple of books and I have bought a couple of books. But obviously with Christmas, obviously I'm, I'm spending most of my money on buying Christmas presents for my friends and my family. So yeah, there's not so many books coming this way. I'm sure I will be getting books for Christmas from various people because yeah, I've asked for them because I like books, which is great. So there will be a haul at the end of the month, but I don't expect it to be a 30 book haul like we've had in the past. What was I thinking? Um, but it will be a smaller one. I will also be deciding what I'm going to do for my Goodreads challenge next year, which um, this year my challenge was 125 and I surpassed that in October. I'm currently on 150, 
seven. I don't want to increase it horrendously because I know if I do that I won't hit it, but I do want to try and challenge myself because obviously 125 wasn't enough this year. Obviously it just wasn't enough because I'm on 157 now, so I'm not going to, I'm probably going to put it up to 135 and put it out 10 to it or something like that. I haven't quite decided. Also next reader, next, next reader, next year, um, oh, one of the channels I apologize, I can't think of a name offhand, I do apologize, I will post it below, um, but her handle on YouTube is Binge Reader, is doing a Stephen King uh, read along, which is read one Stephen King book every month and she has done a list and I haven't brought it with me, so that's just typical. I will edit this bit up. I'm just going to go and get it. <laughs> ah, here it is in my notebook. Well, one of them. I got hundreds, that's why it took me a little while to find it. Anyway, so the the books are in January, the plan is to read Doctor Sleep. Um, February is End of Watch, which is one of the Bill Hodges trilogy. March is the Talisman. April through October is the Dark Tower series. So that's Gunslinger, The Drawing of Three, The Wastelands, Wizards and Glass, Wolves of the Collar, Song of Susanna. It actually says Sog. And The Dark Tower. And then November is Firestarter and December is Christine. So I want to try and do that. I love Stephen King. Haven't read the Dark Tower series. Um, I haven't read any of the Bill Hodges ones either, but I will have a look at them and I'll see which ones I can get. I have read Christine years ago, so I'd like to read that again. So I'll leave a link to the binge reader in the notes below. God, puff me out doing that. So if you want to join in, just go over, watch the video and have a good comment. She tried to read them uh, 12 this year, but uh, only managed four or five. Um, and she's going to listen to the audiobooks next year, which is great. Um, I'm... It's not that I don't like audiobooks, I love audiobooks, I just don't listen to them. I don't have time. I don't have, I don't, I don't listen to things in the car. I mean, I literally just drive to work and back and it's not very far, it's like a 10 minute journey. So I don't have real time to listen to stuff. And if I, want, if I was listening to a book, I'd want to sit and listen to it. So, and I wouldn't be able to concentrate and do anything else. So I wouldn't be able to listen to a book and do ironing or, <laughs> or washing up or cleaning because I just wouldn't do anything. So I might as well just read them. Um, I also found that years ago, I used to listen to the Terry Pratchett's um, novels, audiobooks, read by Tony Robinson. These were the abridged versions. And we used to, I used to listen to them in bed, so they used to send me to sleep. So, and that's not because Terry Pratchett's boring and makes me sleepy. It's just because listening to a voice can be very relaxing and... Uh, yeah sends me to sleep but I think if I sat up and listened to one I will be trying this more. New Year's resolution is to try uh, audiobook from Audible and set up an account and just maybe just get a couple you know something different so that's one of my resolutions listen to or some audiobooks hmm bookish resolutions have you got any uh, I'd be interested in knowing what are you reading this weekend and into next week like if you like me trying to wrap up some things you've had on the go for a while um do you have any bookish re resolutions for the new year have you read any of the books I'm planning on reading? If so, what did you think? Any recommendations for me? Because, like, I haven't got a big enough TBR of 700 odd books already. It's not big enough. <laughs> uh, and, of course, you know, just leave me a comment if you want to say anything. I, I love your comments. So that's it for Friday Reads. Um, if you want to, obviously, like I said, leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share, and if you're not subscribed already, click the big subscribe button. I value every single one of you. So thanks then, and I will see you soon. Happy reading. Bye.